Hey, this is Flume, and these are records in my life. Hey, good. Yeah, we uh, got into Vancouver last night, and um, yeah, ready to go. And how's our fine? I know you've tried, you've played Vancouver before. How's the town uh, treated you? Okay. Yeah, last time we were here, I've actually I've played this venue once before. It's like connected to a theme park, and um, went on a couple roller coasters. Oh, you did? Ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's been good so far. They took us through the um, the run. It took us through like the Heroin Street. Oh, right, yeah, Hastings, yeah, yeah. yes, yes. But at the end of the Heroin Street, there's right. this store, and it um, and it looked interesting, so we went in, and it's it sold uh, LSD, DMT, right. AOD, <laughs> like everything under I the sun. I don't know that store. Oh, like all the psychedelic. Really? Yeah, it was, like, and you, it was like an FPOS. It was like a legitimate store. Anyway, um, we, can't, we couldn't get much because we have to go to America tomorrow, but I was blown away. Like, you could buy all this stuff just legally here. I wanted to. This the show is called Records in My Life. I mm -hmm. wanna. I wanted to ask you first of all, where have you been uh, during the whole COVID thing? Where were you based out of, and what were you up to? Uh, I went. I fled to Australia, and yeah, I was living in LA at the time. Moved back to Australia, uh, which was very lucky that I had the opportunity because uh, it was. Um, it was nice. So, and then that's where I really had some space and some downtime and touring stopped and my life just slowed down and been going so fast for so long. So it was um, much needed. And yeah, that's when I did the last record basically was when I really got into that. So Palace is your latest release. Yeah. Did you record, because you had a lot of great artists on the album, we'll get to that after, but did you guys record a lot of that stuff like back and forth via Zoom? So you had, like. Yeah, like the one with Caroline was back and forth on Zoom. With OK Lou was just online. Um, Caroline Polachek. Caroline right Polachek. Yeah. For those who don't know. Um, and Damon. Damon no, Auburn. Damon was, was. I was with him. Yeah, we got some studio time before COVID. Uh, we were playing the same festival in Las Vegas actually, and uh, yeah, after the show we went in the studio and messed around with some ideas. So. Do you have a favorite track off the record or one that you're most proud of? I think I like the one with Caroline, Caroline Politrick, the Sirens song. I'm just really happy with how that one turned out. Uh, and the video as well and just the whole thing. And she's so talented. She's just got such a unique, angelic, she's such a distinctive voice, uh, which is, you know, uh, one of the reasons why I'm so drawn to her and her what she does. and. Um, yeah, it was cool because we're, we're actually just friends. Like we actually spend a lot of time together and like we have a magic card night at my house. So we're just massive nerds and we play this card game called Magic Cards and then everyone comes over and her and her boyfriend, just like a bunch of us. But um, yeah, I think that song. What's your favorite record? I mean, I'm going to put you on the spot here. Out of yeah. all the artists, I.O. Lou and Damon Albert, yeah, yeah. Caroline Polachek, um, who else? Who else? Who else did you um, collaborate? There were a couple of other artists. Yeah, Kuchko was on it. Um, who else? Uh, Do you have a favorite record by one of those artists? It could be anything from Blur or um, oh, right. Caroline's. Pro I, I, I can't remember Caroline Polachek. So I'm drawing a blank. Her old band. Do you remember her old yeah, band? Yeah, Chairlift. Yes, Chairlift. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was a big fan of that. Right. Yeah, they were great. I mean, like. Obviously, like, I mean, Demon Days was a big one for me with, you know, uh, Gorillaz, so Damon Album. Um, I mean, what, what, what was big? I mean, honestly, the OK Lou record, Galore, uh, it came out like maybe two years ago, but that was huge for me. I really, really fell in love with that record. But yeah, and Caroline's new record's about as well. What album got you? I mean, you have so many influences, obviously, from the guests on your record yeah. and, and, and the artists that inspire mm -hmm. you. What record, as a young boy, did you, uh, you know, did make you want to make wanted to make you make music? I mean, for me, it was just hearing stuff online and downloading stuff off 
Napster was where it really started. And, uh, you know, I had Napster and uh, my next door neighbor's older brother had all these like trans music CDs and I would go over to his house and take a picture on my did like D DSL digital camera. Right. And um, I then go back home and I'd look at the track listing and I'd download them all on Napster, get a few viruses on the way, but that really kind of <laughs> opened <Right>. my <laughs> mind to, I just didn't really know about electronic music until then. And I was probably like eight years old or nine or something. Yeah, so what record? I mean, <laughs> the first album I ever bought with my own money was uh, Aqua. <laughs> Was right. Aqua's Barbie Girl. Yeah, we That's talked to Jones. That's come up before. That's yeah, yeah. not going to be That record <laughs> that has it. been referenced before. So that was that was huge. Um, yeah, I was I was just like into all sorts of stuff. I think um, it was one the Block Party's first record. I don't know if you remember Silent, Silent Alarm. Silent Alarm, like, sure. That Beautiful for me record. Was just yeah. a really huge moment for me. Like in terms of as a record, it uh, was super influential. I think growing up as well, you know, like it's a very impressionable time when I was, you know, 12 or 10 listening to this music. Um, the Daft Punk's homework and Discovery, of course, you know, classics, um, you know, Justice um, with that cross record. Uh, Any young artists records that we should be, that you've discovered lately, which we should be listening to? Lately? Yeah. Actually, I'm going to say Deep Forest as well. I know they're kind of cancelled now because they like... Oh, really? Yeah, okay. yeah. Well, what, what happened was they like uh, recorded all these tri indigenous tribes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then they sampled them all and then but didn't pay anyone. Okay. And so then about 20 years later, business? they're like... <laughs> Music's great, though. <clears throat> but in terms of like new artists, I think, yeah, OK Lou is awesome. Um... A.G. Cook's record, he's actually playing right now, he's doing support, he has an album called 7G, which has got some really nice tracks on it. Um, yeah. Is there a record that you'd go into space with? That you, you, what would be the perfect soundtrack to take a trip up there? I think, um, Clam, this is producer Clams Casino, and he's got these instrumental records that he did. Uh, his instrumental records, the first one actually ended up being ASAP Rocky's, like he rapped on all the beats, but before ASAP Rocky was involved, there was just these instrumentals. Um, and so yeah, the Clams Casino Instrumentals Volume 1 is what I would take to space. Fantastic. Who's a fashionable artist in your eyes? The most fashionable? original, fashionable artist? Fashionable? Yes. As in like clothing or just clothing, like in Clothing, image, visuals. Well, I mean... Chic, fashionable. I mean, Caroline's pretty fucking. She's got it all going on, you know. Um, she's slick. Record you after you've saved the pets. After I've saved what? After you've saved your pets. My pets. Yes, and everything. The oh. one you got one record to oh. to collect. Oh, the aqua. Well, I thought that was. Aqua. I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought that was. Yeah. Yeah, it's a I celebration. Was, I All like the Venga Boys. A Venga Boys record. Yeah. <laughs> Just party. Okay. Well, that's a good one. That's a good honest answer. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for being on Records of My Life. Just a couple more questions, yeah, yeah. and we'll let you get off. Sure. You're going on in about an hour. I think half an hour. Yeah, something like that. Weed, water, or wine, to write or to listen to your favorite record. Weed, water, or wine. I'd say wine. Definitely wine. Yeah. To listen to your favorite record too, as well as writing. Oh, with writing, probably water. Honestly, um, caffeine, if that's an option. Caffeine is good. Uh, but to listen to my favorite record, I would definitely have a glass of wine or two or three or four. Yeah, hell yeah. It's 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 actually a problem, you know. Like <laughs> music just sounds better when you have right. alcohol. Like. Every night I go up on stage and I'm like trying to not have a few champagnes because every time I do have a few champagnes, it's just so much more fun. That's just classy. music and alcohol, beautiful combination. That's classy stuff, but you're drinking champagne. That's You're taking the well, high road. I would, I would just have a few beers, but the thing is you need to pee. You know, <laughs> when you're up there and, you, and you're doing a show and you're like an hour in and you're dying to go to the bathroom and you've got half an hour of music, like it's, it's not a good place to be. Coffee with an artist, alive or dead? You know, coffee with Kanye, that'd be, that'd be interesting. Probably be 
very odd, but I'd go with that. That's a good one. Yeah. Album of your generation, of your record of your generation, high school years. Of my generation? I mean, high school years, it would be in, I guess, the you know, whole like French electro house thing was happening and um, just like the Kitsune compilations, I think, were pretty, you know, modular in, in Australia was putting out a lot of stuff. Let's go with the Kitsune compilations. Words of wisdom for your fans around the world and our audience. Words of wisdom? <laughs> putting, I'm putting you on the spot here. I know. <laughs> <laughs> what are your words of wisdom? My words of wisdom? Yeah, yeah, what are your words of wisdom? Um, live in the moment, uh -huh. maybe. Live, laugh, love. <laughs> yes. The That's three L's one. of life. Thanks so much. I hope you had a good time. Was that a good time? Yeah, uh, no, no, that's great. okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I threw you off with the wisdom thing. I'm the words of wisdom thing. The I'm words of wisdom? No, I, that's a, if I get asked that again, I'll have an answer straight away. You know, really Hi, I'm Mark Henning, the director and editor of Records in My Life. Guess you liked it because we're here at the end of the video. So hit like, leave us a comment, and subscribe. And if you're feeling supportive, consider clicking over to patreon.com forward slash RIMLTV, and you can help us out there. Cheers. See you next time.